Hello everyone. Hi. So it's kind of holiday season and uh, yay. <laughs> and we've had some requests um, and comments, thank you, on some of our videos about maybe doing um, some summertime fragrance advice, what to wear on the beach, um, mm. what fragrances to wear on holiday. Yeah. So we will attempt to give you our advice yeah. <laughs> um, and our thoughts. Exactly. Um, <laughs> I mean, the first question that we kind of ask ourselves mm. is like, do we actually even want to wear fragrance yeah. on the beach or on holiday in the heat? Do you at wear all? fragrance on the beach? No. No. Um, Nor do I. Because there's so many other things going on. Yes. Um, usually, like big layers of sun cream or sun oil. <laughs> which or is quite scented. Something which is mm. quite scented anyway. So that would be the first thing I would say is make your choice on sun protection. Yeah in terms of something you like the smell of as well. Yes, exactly. And and actually, you know, there are so many other smells going on because when you go to the beach, you can really smell the brine sea salt yeah. smell all the time. If you're spending your days by the pool, the chlorine is quite yeah. overwhelming. So are you going to add to that cacophony of scents with a fragrance as well? Don't know yeah. your choice. Yeah, really. yeah, it's totally personal. Also, I worry that if you're in the sea, it would wash off the fragrance would, anyway. And the chlorine if the pool mm, as well would. Exactly. Yeah, so, I so don't know if maybe you should spritz your clothes. Yeah, you I think, think that, that would be the best thing. I mean, I do that sometimes anyway, mm. actually. Um, so yeah, like a your scarf or sarong or mm. even your hat or something, yeah, you know. Um, I probably wouldn't put it on like swimwear, bikini or something that's, um, you know, like light curry. Um, yeah, it might melt it. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, fragrance does have alcohol in. Mm. So you need to be a little bit careful about the fibres that you're spraying on. But if it was on cotton, mm. it would be fine. Um, if you have white clothes, though, on the beach, I would yeah. also be careful. Some of the fragrances that you buy, they're quite coloured. Mm. The, the juice itself is coloured, so it stains. And so you don't realise it on your skin. No. But if you spray it on white, so you will. Careful. So, I, for example, um, I'm t I take on holiday a really bright pink cotton sarong. Yeah. And I would spray fragrance on that. Yeah because it's perfect it's exactly. not going to stain it's cotton it's not going to be yeah. damaged and it smells really nice then when I come out of the sea or I'm laying on it or yeah. I'm putting it back on to go off the beach it smells great yeah so that's sort of one big tip exactly <laughs> I'd also think about um how your like signature scent mm. might transform in hot weather because you might be yes. used to wearing the same thing all the time and you take it on holiday with you and then it might smell quite different yeah. because of the heat yeah. or because of the other things going on like well, that's right so i mean oh sorry <laughs> i was i was just thinking that actually some of the fragrances that i wear here in the uk mm. quite sort of powdery heady florals yeah they, the sun would really heat up those scent molecules yeah. and they can really sort of be quite overpowering yeah. to anyone around me yeah. and intoxicate myself maybe <laughs> so I just, just think yeah I just a, think lighter fragrances yeah, are I mean it's a bit like what you'd wear in terms of clothes mm. isn't it you know because mm. you just kind of go casual and light and free and relaxed um, yeah. and it's the same with fragrance like you don't want anything on you that feels kind of like it's suffocating no though, do I agree you? you want something that's I just agree. kind of fresh and clean and yeah. yeah you can get some lovely oceanic aquatic fragrances mm. or how about like green or aromatic yeah or citrus citrus you know. is great because it always feels refreshing mm. and maybe a cologne yeah would be good rather than say a, an eau de parfum or or pure perfume yeah um, if you want to wear perfume there are quite a lot of body products out there that mm. you could use instead of wearing like an eau de parfum um, that would have like a kind of dual purpose almost yes. because obviously when you're on holiday if you're in the sun in the evening yeah. you might want to wear something that's very moisturising for your skin yeah. so if you can get something that's perfumed mm. and more moisturise your skin at the same time then yeah. that would be great we've got some of those um, in the brands that we work with mm. we have access to some body oils like fragrance perfume oils which we wear um, yeah. there's, there's a couple of Narciso ones mm. um, Sarah's got the For Her which is the original one and then there's also this which is the, the white one is the Narciso it's just called Narciso yeah. mask. And this is like a, just a, a little couple of drops of oil. So you can use this directly on the skin, mm. or you can also put it in a bath, which is yeah, quite nice, nice as well. But oil, you know, is the most hydrating, moisturising thing mm. you can put on your skin. So it would be excellent after you've been in mm. the sun all day. And then also the smell is very gentle. Mm. So it would be lovely 
just a kind of small bit of fragrance in the yeah, evening. Yeah, absolutely. There's another one, okay, that's that's just launched, I think, or just launched this year, yeah. which is the Bulgari um, Goldea. Oh, yeah. Um, and that is, I don't think this is available everywhere. No, it's only in Harrods in the UK. Okay, and it's, Goldea is a, a fragrance that's new this year, and it's got really lovely sort of exotic kind of ylang-ylang notes. Yeah. Um, and this, if I just Thank pop you. it, there you go, on my skin, you can literally be really generous with mm. oil, but you don't have to sort of stick to pulse points. You can go everywhere, mix with body lotion yeah. if you want as well. And it smells of holidays. It smells sunny and mm. really rich, but rich in a kind of exotic, floral, coconutty kind of way. Yeah. <laughs> with the, those kind of lovely exotic yeah. flowers. Um, and it's got things like sort of radiant musks in there mm. that, that give it a lift. It's and really I quite nice. like that. Um, in the evening after I've showered mm. and I'm clean and my sun tan is all, uh, my sun lotion is all it's washed gone. off. Yeah. yeah. Nice. What about hair mist? Yes, hair mist. So hair mist is, there's not many brands that do hair mm. mist anymore, but one that we work with is Narcissa Rodriguez again, and they do this hair mist in for her. So generally a hair mist will have a lighter concentration mm. of the oils, mm. um, but it also have a lot less alcohol because the alcohol on the hair can be very stripping. Yeah. And if you imagine you're already going in the sea mm. and in the chlorine of the pool and your hair's in the sun and it gets damaged and stuff. So don't spray your normal fragrance mm. on your hair. Go for a hair mist like this and you can literally just... <sighs> <laughs> Have a little spritz, Ooh. and it, it's like and, so and then nice. literally every time whenever you, you do hair, that, yeah. <laughs> someone gets a nice little waft of um, your fragrance, but in a much more subtle way than they would if it yeah. was like an eau de parfum. Yeah, um, so, so another I, great that's way. A good, maybe what we're we're saying in all of that chat <laughs> is think subtle. Yeah. when you're on holiday in, in hot weather um, be careful about the ingredients sort of becoming too intoxicating mm. be careful also, also about the photosensitivity yes. of your skin sometimes you know perfume and sun makes gives you a heat rash yeah. so be careful about that um, so choose maybe body products or something crisper greener lighter more aquatic yeah I hope you found that helpful. I mm. um, hope you're going on holiday somewhere soon, nice and exotic and hot. Let us know. <laughs> Let us know what products you're taking um, with you as well. And yeah, we'll see you all again soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.